Hi everybody, you have found uh, what to play next. We're bringing everything that is awesome in gaming. So this, we found Skyrim. <laughs> um, TES 6 is actually going to be set in a different which I feel like a, not a lot of people know. Um, the Elder Scrolls series is always set in a different country. Um, so when ESL came out, we immediately bought in um, on Elsewhere, where they were bringing back the dragons, and it was set in the Khajiit homeland. Then later, um, they did jump into Western Skyrim, which was amazing. Um, you have the Nords, you have the Alliance, everything that's exciting is going on there. So we were super excited to have that. Um, and we went in and we got the DLC. Um, this is our hardy Nordy, who got an English five across the eyes and so on. Obviously we're just starting out, it's level three, I think. Um, but just lots of fun. So hold on one second. I need to check on my levels are good. Okay. Um, so we plunged right in, um, immediately someone dies on us. We land in Western Skyrim and someone dies on us. And we're looking at the DLC, they're going to do vampires and werewolves. Uh, sundered from Eastern Skyrim in years past, the cold and unforgiving land known as Western Skyrim is ruled by High King Svargrim. Consisting of the hordes of Hoppinger, never get all the way through that. So we explored through all of his belongings and so on, and they led us to this lovely lady, Lyris Titanborn. Um, she is investigating for the Queen, and we need to go get the you Queen. You handled that better than I expected. Now what in Mara's name happened to Brondolt? He was fleeing pursuit and gave me a bundle of papers before he died. Damn. Lucky thing he found you. Brondolt he looks was familiar. To He's seen cinematics. Got here. Without his information, my work for Euron the Skald King could be over before it begins. What did he give you? Hand it over. Hmm. Smugglers and reachmen up to illicit business. Nothing unusual there, but Brondolt thought it could be connected to the Coven. I'm short a good investigator, and you stepped into the role easily enough. Can I count on you to help me with this? What do you need? Brondolt mentioned some locals we should have a talk with. A snitch named Grega who likes to gamble in back alleys, and an orc named Mog who frequents the Lonely Troll Inn. Let's find them and see what they can tell us. Can you explain what this is all about? Succinctly? No, but I'll try. The Ice Reach Coven recently attacked the Skald King. We learned they're planning something in Western Skyrim as well. So Joran sent me to warn them. Beyond that, we have the leads Brondold found, and that's about it. What's the Ice Reach, Reach Coven? Reach from an island to the north in the Sea of Ghosts. Nords drove their kind out of Skyrim a long time ago, and we thought they were gone forever. Seems we were wrong. Why did Joran send you to help Svargrim? While it's true that Svargrim and Yorin don't get along, the Skull King doesn't want something terrible to befall Western Skyrim. That would be bad for the East as well as the West. Besides, Yorin was hoping for an opportunity to improve relations. Where are you again? Lyris Titanborn. I was one of Emperor Varen's five companions. Currently, I serve Yorin the Skald King. Skyrim's my home, and I'll do oh, whatever's necessary to protect it. Whoever's behind these threats will regret it. As soon as we identify them. This axe and I have been all over Tamriel, to oblivion and back on more than one occasion for that matter. I've earned my reputation. Joran hoped my fame might persuade Svargrim to grant me an audience. But it seems to be working against me. Why is that? Most of the tales of my exploits involve the liberal application of the blade of my axe. Svargrim must think Joran sent me here to strong arm him into joining the pact. He's wrong, but I'd probably jump to the same conclusion. How do we know the smugglers and the Reachmen are connected? That's all we've got. Even if they aren't connected to the Ice Reach Coven, taking care of a few of Svargrim's problems might earn us some goodwill. Now, let's go check out the back alleys and the Lonely Troll Inn. Doing it! Doing it large, sweetheart. Loving it. Living life. So we get to explore around Western Skyrim. Like, how cool is that? Um, since the next one is going to be set in another country, and people are so in love with the Western country tower itself. Is a monument to the Western spirit, stony and cheerless. Maybe the new tower will. A fascinating the application of the technique. Um, they use objects. Bethesda uses objects as um as such, so that you don't necessarily have to interact with them for them to feed you more of the storyline. And that doesn't bother them at all. Oh, peculiar bottle. I do want that. I want... No, I want the peculiar... Oh, is that you? Listen closely, you insufferable clod. It's I'm talking? My notes and... uh, wait. You're not Borfrey. I'm not. I tell from the lack of heavy breathing and sniffles. 
Who are you? Are you stuck? Stuck in the bottle? No, no, no. This is a devious and very stubborn illusion. One that you now have the privilege of breaking. Me? I was conducting busy. some research, you see, and inadvertently triggered this spell. <laughs> Luckily, I know how to reverse it. How do you do it's that? It's simple. I recorded the locations of three verses of a powerful incantation in my journal on the off chance something like this occurred. Acquire the verses, come back and dispel this illusion. I'll make it worth your while. I might as well. My assistant, Borfrey, has my journal. Find it. Read my notes and acquire the incantation. Also tell him to come get me. Someone nearly took a swig of me. Though I suppose introductions Aww. are in order. I am Narcissus Drin, famed historian, etc. 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 Oh, does it really matter? Every historian worth his salt winds up trapped in an illusion at some point. Oh, Indeed, I acquired a powerful scroll from the Mages Guild. I thought it might direct me to a legendary illusionist's secret sanctum. Steal! We're adventurers, aren't we? What you call stealing, I call daring investigation. Why, with anyone other than you, of course. You're gonna share it with me? Can awesome. You exclude you? Oh, you wound me. Oh, illusion magic extends far beyond simple parlor tricks and mirages. Skilled practitioners exert power over the mind itself. So you don't think you can move? Precisely. The spell for the knowledge of the natural sciences against me. Crafty? Yes. Crafty. Yes, the mage male moth hit them all over solitude, etched in wood, tucked under cobblestones, and so on. Just was. Who was he? Past tense. Male moth was one of Skyrim's most gifted illusionists. A contemporary of the great Shalador, if you can believe it. Ah, countless secrets. He was a master illusionist, after all. Unfortunately, illusionists always cloak their discoveries in puzzles and traps. In so they don't um, stack no your quests? I never shrink from a challenge of the mind. You can cycle through them. So what I'll just do is, instead of following along with this, go back to my um, original one. Which is ser search the back alleys and so on, since I have my follower here. Um, from the main cinematic, where are we going? Search the back alleys, go to the lonely troll, which is somewhere that's getting further away. I assume it's down the street then. It's not hard to find things using the compass. It does get a little bit crowded in the cities. It's kind of reminiscent of World of Warcraft as they built up their. Um, is this the lonely troll? Looks like it might be. As they built up their, you know, guild followings and so on, you can pick up a proficiency, you can um, join a guild, you can even live um, inside of, you know, whatever country you choose just by buying apartments. You must be Mog. I have questions. Questions? <laughs> Happy to oblige. Buy a few rounds and let's chat. You're going to answer me, Orc, or... Oh, she's hey. not joking about that. Nobody intimidates my friends. Princess Vanna. You're a princess? Give you the right to walk in here and bully my friend. Did my father send you? Why would your father send because me? Because he doesn't like Mog. But I like Mog. Mog doesn't care that I'm a princess, and it doesn't matter to me that Mog's a scoundrel. If my father didn't send you, why are you threatening my friend? Threatening. We're asking questions. Smelly bastards. Cheap, too. Wouldn't buy us a drink. They hung their flyers and left with us. You're just team. answering them. Then a different smelly bastard showed up to sign on workers. He was a charmer, though. You remember. <laughs> His breeches fit well. And he was handsome. Not a Nord. Breton, maybe. I didn't really listen to what he was saying. A half dozen workers left with him. Off to the Drudok Mountains or someplace. He hasn't been back since. Thanks, Your Highness. Let's talk outside, partner. So it drops you into a little bit of a mystery, and they tend to um, at least start you out that way. You do get into more combat the quests and so on. Um, and advance the plotline. You can break away at any time and just run around and explore. Um, this Not being a main class that gives you Lyris. Thanks for smoothing things over. Hard to believe we ran into her royal princess in the local drinking hall. 
We should pay a visit to Grega before we wander out into the wilds in search of this mysterious Breton. And then obviously we're gonna do that and continue along. We try to um, just, you know, stick with the program and get a 10, 20 minutes worth of storyline, let you explore along with us. Um, for some of you, it's been a very long time since you got any new Skyrim. It takes a very long time to explore the you know main chapters, um, but we do have the side chapters um, where you do visit the different countries in EOS, so, so this was definitely an awesome find and a lot of fun. Uh, link in the description below. Also down there is Gamer Grind Gamer Coffee shipped to your door. Ellie's up top? Only you, Mr. Howard. Um, nope. That would be a no from us. Can I jump that? Kind of moot point, given that I can't go over it. Um, also down there is Gamer Grind. Gamer Coffee shipped to your door. What else is down there? Grega. Oh, interesting. So we'll go ahead and set this up for the next one. Go there. They look like they're having an awful lot of fun. Uh, KOFI, buy this chick a coffee $1, make me smile. You can support us on Patreon. So if you love the fact that we found the best, do you want to hear more? Or you just want to support us in finding other companies and helping them develop... Um, you know, we love the indie community. We've worked in it for tw uh, 30 years now, um, off and on. So video games, you know, books, etc. So you can get some backstory. You can just support us there. Most importantly, hit subscribe and hit the bell. So if you do love Skyrim, you can follow along with us here. Get a little bit more out of it. Um, if you're more into, you know, following the indie games or the retro games, as we point out, game mechanics and, um, you know, find you really awesome things in gaming that did help advance gaming, you can pick up fun games for nothing box. Uh, we have a free game series. We do the occasional blockbuster, um, but they all did something for gaming. So you walk away with, you know, like a better understanding of what you like so that you can get more out of it. So smash subscribe, hit the bell, check out the thumbnail, and then stop in and see us. We love you guys. Stay safe, game on, and we will see you next video.